Well, with school vacation looming next week, perhaps you are looking for a fun activity to do with the kids. And if you are, we have just the place. Joining us this morning is Christina Turner, Director of Education and Public Programs at the New Bedford Whaling Museum. Just a great spot. Good morning, Christina. Thank you. Welcome. Well, thank you for yeah, well, <laughs> welcoming me. <laughs> thank you for welcoming me to the show as well. It's nice for us to both be here. Yeah. Well, let's get right to it here. For those unfamiliar with the, the Whaling Museum, it really is just a great place to really learn something, have some fun. Tell our viewers really what you guys are all about. Yeah, so I think the biggest thing that I always want people to know is we are more than just whales. Um, and in fact, our content, everything covers art, history, science, and culture, um, and you can learn all about those different themes and topics on any visit to the museum. Because we hear New Bedford, we think the whaling city, of course, but it's so much more than that. So much more than that. And I think one of the best ways to explore that is to visit. Um, and next week especially is a great time to visit because it's school vacation Yeah, week. let's talk about all the wonderful things you have going on. I know that you and the team have been very hard at work. Yeah, so next week is Art and Culture Week. So it's an opportunity to explore the exhibitions, but through the themes of art and culture, um, and to do some pretty cool hands and activities to do that. Love that. Yeah. It's a great way for the kids to learn really when they can get up close and personal really uh, you know if something's tangible there's a real takeaway for them. Yep so whether you are sort of the visual person who wants to look and explore we have a new exhibition uh, Domingos Rebello Azorian Art. Um, so we have images that families can like go and then look at the original piece of artwork and try to spot the differences between the two. I love a good spot the difference oh, game. Yes. I know Michaela does too. <laughs> She's over there. <laughs> Uh, if you're more hands-on and want to create and explore, we have our Courtney Matson exhibition that's all about coral. Uh, families can have an opportunity to look up close at yeah. coral. Talk about some of the things you have here, because I'm, I'm hands-on. I'm endlessly yes. fascinated by this. Yeah, so these are some pieces of coral right here. Right. Our Courtney Matson exhibition is a combination of art and science, talking a little bit about uh, uh, climate change and coral. May I touch the coral? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> And oh, if yeah. you come to the museum next week, not only will you get to touch, look, explore coral, you get to make some cool sort of coral ex uh, pieces yourself with some clay. I love that. And this right here, you can get a closer look at Yeah, this look is a close things. look. Yep. Me, Magnifying let me, let me glass, what I zoom in on all here. the details. I'm sorry, that's a cubic zirconia. No. <laughs> <laughs> and these right here, I was asking you, what are these specific? Those are walrus teeth. This is crazy. Yes. And what the art on this walrus teeth, this, this scrimshaw that you're seeing, is also another thing that if you're a hands-on, want to look in-depth person next week. You can uh, explore our scrimshaw gallery and then make some pieces of scrimshaw yourself as well. Love, take them home? Yes, absolutely. Love the sound of that. And uh, let's discuss, you know, really the ongoing initiative. I mean, the fact that you really all are all about, you know, conservation, you know, the environment, you know, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to not only take away something tangible, but also some knowledge, especially for the, the kids out there. Exactly. And like I said, you can do that anytime, but especially next week with some really cool hands-on activities. Um, led not only by our docents, but also by our high school apprentices. So Let's, it's going to be a great opportunity. Love it. Let's talk hours and location, of course. Yep. So we are obviously located in New Bedford in downtown. We are a short 30-minute drive from Providence. <laughs> love it. Um, and we will be open uh, 10 to 4, sorry, 9 to 5, all through a vacation week. Tremendous. And I'm sure we can learn more all about you, social media, website, all that great stuff. Yep. Uh, at whalingmuseum.org, all of the information about Vacation Week, as well as other opportunities to visit and explore exhibitions are on our website. Great. Well, we uh, can't thank you enough for dropping by and really educating us a little bit as to what it is you do. We wish you a great school vacation week and uh, really thanks for all the great work you're doing. Thank you for having me. Pleasure to have you here, Christina. <laughs> if you guys out there would like more information on the New Bedford Whaling Museum, just visit us right now at roadshow.com.